everywhere you go and everything you do, you have a chance to find hidden millions and change your life. I promise you, all you have to do is turn on your radar. There are ideas everywhere, even surrounding you when you're out at a bar just having some fun. That's where Michael Kerbin, co-founder of Vita Coco, found his hidden millions. How you doing, man? How you doing? Vita Coco, yeah. a lot of millions, coconut water. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought you would come on your million dollar idea trying to pick up two hot Brazilian chicks? Hey. Uh. Well, basically, we were in a bar in Manhattan. We were hanging out, me and one of my childhood friends, Ira. And uh, there was these two girls leaving. He saw one of them, fell for her, ran to the door, stopped her. She was Latin, blonde hair. He said, Shakira? Bad pickup line, but it worked. We ended up sitting down with him for a while. I always try that Shakira line. It never works it doesn't for me. Work for, it doesn't work for me either. Right. No, I'm married now, so. But anyway, we sit down with these girls. We start chatting. They're from Brazil, um, in New York for a couple of months and uh, start talking about everything, what they miss about Brazil, what they love about Brazil, what they like about America. One thing that came up was agua de coco, which is coconut water. They told us about it, they miss it, they can't find it in New York, and then it kind of went away until two months later, Ira falls in love with the girl, moves to Brazil, and marries her. So he's in Brazil, hanging out, and uh, we just, uh, I went down there to visit, and we saw how huge this thing was. Is that you or is that your friend? How'd you get such a hot blonde? Look at that. Wait, go back to that picture. Oh, yeah, who's that? That's me in the middle, the, my friend, Ira, and that's his wife. Oh, yeah, so like, how'd, you, how'd you get that hot that's chick? Shakira. I love that. Okay, love, that's the Shakira <laughs> line. I love that. Great line. So okay, you so you go wait. down there, yeah. and you kind of find this, this drink that is the, the rage down there. It's the second most highly consumed beverage in Brazil, second to orange juice. It's incredible. And yep. it doesn't exist, basically it didn't exist here. Cocoa no, water it existed didn't... in a can. It existed super processed and boiled and added preservatives, but not in its natural state. And we wanted to see if we could take something so huge in a market like Brazil and see if we could get a little market share here in the U.S. and create a brand and, and build a business. This was in McDonald's down there on airplanes. This Everywhere. was like basically water. I mean, this is, this is everybody drank, and it didn't exist. Yep. So, how do you, so now you come back to the States. You say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this Vita Coco, and how'd you get this thing off the ground? We started with the concept. If you look at it, it doesn't look like a sport drink. It doesn't look like your typical sport drink, but it's 15 times better at hydrating the body than any sport drink. It's got more potassium than two bananas in each serving. So we wanted to create something that looked tropical, looked like Brazil. We wanted to sell a vacation in a bottle, basically, like Corona does. Right. And, um, and this kind of, it turned into the functional aspect, which is all about the sport drink. And that's what really made the product take off, is the functionality. And now people, the Pittsburgh Penguins, Kelly Slater, um, a marathonist who's a good friend of both of ours, Jesse Itzler, sure. all these people order the product um, by the case, and they drink it like crazy, and they drink it instead of Sport so you, you never heard the beverage business. So yeah. now you go, okay, wait a second. Brazil, very kind of obviously very fashionable place, very cool place. There's this thing that's basically the national drink doesn't exist here. How'd you go from there to all of a sudden making the first one, making the first sale here? We jumped on it. Basically what we did is um, we, in Brazil, we looked for, Ira stayed down there and he looked for producers. He looked for people who could produce it, who could create a brand for us. Actually, his wife did all the graphics. I came back to New York and I started looking around the beverage industry. I met a guy pulling some naked juice out of a truck in Brooklyn where I live. And I said to him, I said, are you a distributor? And he totally blew me off. He walked away. And I just tried to tell him as he was walking away what I was doing. Ignored me, came into a store, followed me into the store, and said, tell me about what you're doing. And then we started talking. He became our first distributor, introduced me to others. And the brand just really, we got Whole Foods, and that was the key. And the Whole first time you tried it, though, for a retailer, he described it as what? Sock water. He drank it and said, mmm, tastes like sock water. Nice. I was out hitting retailers, rollerblading from store to store, trying to get as many stores as possible. Give it to a guy as a sample. And uh, he tasted it. He goes, this is sock water. Nobody's going to drink it. It's now his best-selling beverage in his store. Actually, tastes good. You know, I don't like coconut, yeah. but it doesn't really taste like coconut. Yeah. It's, got, it's got a nice kick to it. It's like water with a little bit of a texture, a little bit of a sweetness, and it's all about the hydration and the functionality. I love it. Now you've got almost over $4 million in sales. It's yeah. in Target, Whole Foods, Wild Oats, all over the place. So your case, man, the hidden millions was just trying to pick up hot babes. That's all that. it is. And sitting so on a beach is. in Brazil. It's what easy. a great thing. It's easy. And <laughs> does so the Shakira line also worked also? I guess I'm going to so. try that, but I guess you've got to be blonde. Okay, I like that. Great story, my man, Thanks Vita so Coco. And he's still down there in Brazil. He's down in Brazil. With the beautiful woman, and you're doing all the work up here. You believe it? Michael <laughs> Kerbin, co-founder of Vita Coco. More big ideas straight ahead. Thanks.